video. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna get ready and do a quick weigh-in for you guys. Yeah, it's been a little while and I've had some ups and downs, obviously, but <clears throat> I'm interested to see where I am right now after Red being here for a little over a week. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> um, man, I can't just turn it around. Shoot. Okay, pause. All right, here we go. Hello. It's ready. Okay, getting on. <coughs> Woo. Let's see if she even stops. Okay. Don't hold on to the sides, Kenny. <laughs> Come on, say something, woman. Come on. Oh, really? Mm. I'm below 440. Yeah. Ooh. That's good. Oh, yeah, it's back to zero now. All right. <laughs> okay, you guys. Whew. That was fun. That was fun. Oh, and I'm I'm holding it all wrong. All right, anyway. See y'all in a bit. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> oh, today I'm having China Mama. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all might remember when me and Nick had it on the channel a while back. Um, <clears throat> one of my favorite Chinese food places ever. Ever. Uh, I've got rice here I've got the let me let me see it's it's a wonton spicy wonton come on now let me see let me let me view my details here uh, wontons in Szechuan pepper sauce I believe that's what this is interesting and then I have the the Dan Dan noodles they call them Tan Tan noodles Oh my god, it was so good, you guys. So good. It was like one of my favorite things ever. Um, and this right, this right, dang it. Open, open. Oh, it's so hot too. Dang. But it's the black pepper, sizzling beef and black pepper sauce. I'm gonna get some video of this stuff, so y'all will have seen it. Oh, and here we have ooh, those are the steamed juicy pork buns. Oh my lord, I am just so excited here. All right, let me let me move my phone for a second. And there's the rice, the noodles, noodles. I'm gonna do this part before I do the video so you guys can see it in all of its saucy glory. Ooh. Okay. And I'm gonna, oh, come on. Loosen up noodles. Loosen up a little bit. Mmm. Oh, loosen up when it gets the. When it gets the sauce on it. All right. Oh, man. I should do a little. Let me let me do a little clip of this sauce. <laughs> I know y'all don't give a f, but I want it. I want to see it. Hey. Oh. Okay. I was supposed to be getting up. <laughs> Mmm. All right. Pause. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. It looks very flavorful. They've got all kinds of things in there, too. Mmm. 
put that oil all around. Mm. Oh my word. Let's see, I have a little spoon. I'm gonna scrape it off. I'm gonna scrape it all because whoo. Every little bit of this sauce is bound to be amazing. Come on, you two, you two, get it, get out of there. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, that's so good. All right. Mm. So I start jabbing it, moving it around. Mm. See how that oil kind of went to the bottom already. heavens I'm gonna take my first bite of this the angels are gonna sing and I'm having hard times with these chopsticks <laughs> you guys y'all just had to watch me mix that up didn't you <laughs> you just had to that's what it boils down to all right y'all i'm gonna take a video of everything i'll be right back Pause. okay i'm so excited you guys okay i'm about to get a bite of these noodles let's see i'm gonna just pick it up give y'all another little look at it before I dig in. Mm. Oh. Mm. Come on. Oh. It's the chopsticks, man. <laughs> okay, you guys. It's got that nice Szechuan spice. Mm. I'm trying to make out what all these flavors are. Wow. Mm hmm. I definitely taste the, the scallion, the green onion. Tasting maybe peanut, maybe. Mm. 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 There's definitely a nice bit of that chili oil. Wow. Oh. Mm. Gotta drop some. Mmm. That's beautiful. Those noodles are just divine. Just absolutely divine. And I remember when I ate these before, folks were slightly disturbed by the amount of grease I had on my chin. Well, Y'all just prepare yourself because this is not going to get any better. <laughs> it's not going to be any better this time. I'm definitely going to have sauce all over my chin. 
Yeah, definitely peanuts. soda out of the fridge. I think there's a ginger beer left. Mm. And then also have your noodles if, if you want to fix them up while they're hot. Yeah, I'm not hungry right now, baby. Okay. Well, it's, it's that and that. Okay. And then you mix them together. And oh, okay. Yummy, yummy. Like, they're freaking <laughs> amazing. Oh my gosh! Mm. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. Love the noodles. Let me try one of these little <clears throat> pork buns. <clears throat> I'll take this little one that's kind of knocked over. Oh, ooh. Juicy. They are juicy. Oh. Did y'all see that? That was like fail. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh, it's how <laughs> that sucks everywhere. Mmm. It's a really vinegary sauce. Mm. Good though. Mm. Strong pork, 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 pork flavor. Oh. Uh, excuse me. And how do I suck so bad with these chopsticks? I've practiced. Look at the. Mmm. 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 The juice just exploded in my mouth. Mmm. Alright. Let's see all the toppings. There's definitely a lot of peanuts. A lot of green onions. Oh, there's some definitely chili oil in there. It looks crispy. Mm. Oh yeah, lots of chili oil in the bottom too. Ooh, it's dripping. Really good. Mm. 
I'm not as fond of these wontons, the, the pasta part. Mm. The texture is a little bit too mushy, but freaking the sauce is, oh, it's amazing. Oh, mm. where to put this? I'll just stick it there for now. a little bit of rice there. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Let me mix up my beef. I remember this beef was so tender. It was super tender. And this black pepper sauce had such an amazing flavor. <clears throat> Let me get some of the sauce. If I can. Actually, no, that's not going to work. <laughs> mm. I know y'all love watching me struggle with these chopsticks. saying the other day when I did McDonald's that I could have afforded a nice big steak. Well, let me tell you, I thought about getting a steak, but what I really wanted when I saw that China Mama was available, I wanted this steak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mama is not playing around. That is some ribeye right there. I guarantee it. That's 
sauce. Mm. The rice is very tasty. Very, very tasty. Mm. Mm. All right, so you guys, if you haven't already clicked away, <laughs> Mm. After I get done eating, I plan to do a QA. and a mm. I dropped a photo on my Instagram and I had y'all leave comments, you know, questions and comments. Mm. So... I'm gonna go see the things that y'all wanna know. Mm. And I'm sure y'all have tons of questions about the situation right now. What's happening. You know. So there's that. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> mm. Oh, the pepper's getting to me. Mmm. <clears throat> Mm. Ooh. Ooh. and I also did a weigh in for you guys and I'm wondering where I'm going to put it I don't know yet oh but I've got to pause on the pepper I told you about the pepper I had to blow my nose pause okay Ooh, yeah the pepper is burning me just a little bit is burning me Mm. Okay. Mm. 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 So good. It's such a nice burn though. It's like it's hot. It's like a low burn. Low burn, slow burn, whatever you want to call it. Mmm. That's a black pepper. Mmm. Which is different than the Szechuan pepper. Mmm. But it definitely has a similar effect. Hmm. There we go. Or right, that black pepper sauce. 
It's a big piece of meat. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Holy cow. Mmm. just too good. noodles I'm getting full y'all getting full mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. You know, as much as I like the Dan Dan noodles, I kind of think I like the steak better. Mm. Sizzling black pepper beef. Mmm. Mmm. but in a good way. Oh man, I want to eat all this. I was dropping rice on meal here. <laughs> close up shop here mm. the only thing that was kind of lacking for me was the wontons and it was just it was solely a textural thing the flavors really good they might have gone a little heavy on like the fish sauce or something but I like them <clears throat> it's just not my favorite out of the items I got mm. oh my goodness I'm not a big fan of this sauce. It was a little bit vinegary. Mmm. That sauce stuck on the bottom. <coughs> I know that was weird. Mmm.
Okay, you guys. Let's get ready for the Q&A segment of today's mukbang. I wonder how much stuff I have all over my face right now. containers. I like these containers. These will be put in rotation. <laughs> mm. Alright, let's get the phone and let's see what all you guys had to say. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to Instagram, you guys. Look at me. I can't even see my cat ears. <laughs> oh. All right. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. All right, I gotta pause again and blow my nose again. Be right back. Pause. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I had on the image 128 comments. Um, not all of them questions. And I wouldn't even, I wouldn't answer them all. But, uh, so, so I scroll to the bottom and I'll, I'll answer the ones that I feel inclined to answer. And if I don't answer, I apologize. It's either too personal or... I just don't have a good answer for it. Okay. Soph's Goat asks, <laughs> do you like girls? Please say yes. <laughs> I do. I do like girls. I like girls quite a lot. Quite a lot. I've never been in a relationship with a woman, but I have had relations with women. Um, you know... I don't, I don't know what it is. I mean, I don't. I just have a, a level of awkwardness with women that I don't have with men. So it's just never, it's just never gone that way for me. But of course, I'm interested. Definitely. <laughs> okay. Next question. Dendrite seventeen says, "Do you paint your toenails?" Well, honey, I can't even reach my toenails right now, so. But I would paint them if I could, cause they ugly. They ugly. I got some ugly feet, ugly toes too. <laughs> uh, immobility girl says, "Are you sleeping well right now?" Um, with uh, pharmaceutical assistance, uh, my doctor prescribed me trazodone, which is some kind of uh, anxiety or antidepressant or what it, it you know something like that one of those and I've been taking that to sleep so so I get probably three to four hours of of straight sleep after I take that and then I get up and I, I, I never sleep through the whole night I have to get up and go to the bathroom in the middle of the night like multiple times and so I will sleep in two to three sessions sometimes four I mean if it's you know, if I if I don't do well, I'll try to sleep more than that. <laughs> okay, John's Hobby Hut says, I noticed a PS4 controller behind you in videos. What games are you currently playing or looking forward to? Okay, well, I'm going to start with what I'm looking forward to. Oh, you guys, there's this game called Stray, I think, where you are literally a stray cat. And you go around the city, like, having little adventures or whatever. And I believe it's an open world game. Which is my favorite kind of game to play. Um, what I'm currently playing, though, I have kind of a short list. And most of the ones on the list, 
I've like started and just been like, oh, this looks so much fun, but you know, am I prepared to learn the controls of a new game? You know, uh, I like die a couple of times and I'm like frustrated and quit. But like, like Red Dead Redemption uh, 2, uh, that Horizon something or other game. Uh, it was an interesting storyline. Uh, God of War I liked. The One of the Biohazard games I liked. Um, I got Soul Calibur to try with a friend, you know, fighting game. Um, and yeah, it's just one of them. I, I forgot off the top of my head. I haven't really looked into any of them very seriously, but my favorite game that I play over and over and over and over again is Skyrim, Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. Favorite thing in the world. I just love it. I um, mean, it, it's ridiculous how many times I've, I've played this game. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> okay. Maz Courtney says, I noticed a new ring on your finger. Question mark. I was like, yes, it's a ring. Um, Red gave it to me when he came. Uh, it's kind of a symbol of our bond. You know, he's my baby daddy and we're always going to be bonded. So there's that. Now, I didn't put it on my married finger. I put it on the, like, more of a friendly, you know. I like it. I, I can't keep it on all the time though, because it, it does like my hands swell <laughs> once in a while, so it kind of cuts off circulation. But I like it. I like it. He also gave me this. I mean, it's supposed to be for for our son, <laughs> but I was like, I'ma hold it for him. <laughs> I'ma hold it for him. <laughs> I was like, it's mine. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's Mjolnir. Uh, from the. God of Thunder, Thor. Love it. Um, Flo Boon I Am. Flo, Flo Boon I Am. Says, how do you deal with all the hate you get? I love watching your videos and many comments there are so nasty. Greetings from Thailand. Hi. <laughs> uh, honestly, a lot of the hate, I mean like the worst, worst, worst of it, y'all will never see. I will never see it because it gets filtered into a folder um, that's hidden. Basically, it's a hidden folder. And unfortunately, a lot of positive comments get filtered in there too. So, I miss a lot of those um, and, and that makes me sad. For a while there, I started to go in to the hidden comments area and try to like salvage some of the nice comments and like like uh, make them visible on the on the comment section but just going in there and seeing that stuff is it, it does get to me eventually it does get to me but the hate that gets like that that gets through that squeaks by um i'll read comments for like the first day or two usually but then i just excuse me i just don't go back if I spend too much time in the comments and seeing the crap, you know, it does kind of wear on me a little bit. But, you know, people have their opinions and that's okay, you know. That is okay. Hmm. Uh, Finsta All Day Er Day <laughs> says favorite perfume, favorite body wash, Best personal grooming items. Okay, that's interesting. Favorite perfume. Right now, my favorites are um, J'adore, or J'adore by, by Dior. Dior J'adore. Um, and also, Toka Cleopatra. I'm probably not even pronouncing those correctly, but Cleopatra is like, it's, that's, that's one I've been wearing recently. Uh, favorite body wash um I actually I don't have a favorite right now I'm kind of I'm using medicate a medicated body wash that's got tea tree and whatnot in it and it helps it helps for what I need it for you know I get like little itchy stuff going on but <laughs> yeah it comes with territory um personal grooming items I don't know. 
I just have a brush and I don't really, I don't really do my hair or anything. I just let it dry on its own mostly. So I don't really have grooming items. Mm. Okay, Kyle in flight says cat or dog person. Honestly, both, but I lean towards kitty cats a little bit more. Um, I don't know, my issue is I'm a super, super irritable person, okay? And I found that sound triggers me a lot. Okay, in the last few years, I've, I've come to understand that sound is a big trigger for my irritation. And um, while cats are sometimes a little quieter than dogs, I mean, it just depends on the critter. It really does. Whether they're going to, like, be, well, I like to call them Malvy. <laughs> I mean, and it, it's, it just is what it is, you know. So, I, I like both, but... Still, I, I kind of, I don't know, they, they're, pot, they're qualities I, I really love in both cats and dogs. You know, I, I like dogs, how, how loyal and goofy and, and just loving they are. And cats, cats are silly too. Cats have their silly days. But I also kind of like their, their attitude, like they could just take it or leave it. And like, I aspire to be a cat. <laughs> Mm. Tanya AM Tanya M92 Are you engaged? No, I am not. Not not not. Uh Sir Shram Surf says what is your favorite season of the year? That would be fall or autumn. I just for some reason I just love when the weather changes from hot and it starts to cool down. I mean, you could say the same thing about spring, but sp spring's not the same. You're going from cold to warm and it's, it's, it's not the same. When you're really, really hot and you like get that blast of air conditioning for the first time, then it's kind of what fall is and that's my favorite. You know, I kind of associate fall with like not only the beautiful like colors and whatnot, but um, just the, just the way the air feels, you know, it's just a change coming into winter. I love that. Uh, Blunt Blue Tea says, where would you visit in the world if you could go anywhere? I've said this a million times. The first place I want to go is Scotland. Uh, number one, I have a friend there that I really, really, really want to see finally and give a big hug to but mostly uh, a lot of my ancestry is in Scotland you know Scotland and also in the Scandinavian countries well Scotland and all like the UK area and Scandinavian countries and whatnot which Vikings went to Scotland Vikings are all over England and whatnot so <laughs> so that's that's where my people come from <laughs> <clears throat> what is it, uh, Gaelic and Nord, <laughs> Nordic, <laughs> Gaelic, Celtic, all that, uh, Alfred, Alfred Lighting, Alfred, Alfred Lighting, 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 <laughs> do you prefer fried chicken or burgers? You know, lately, it's going to be fried chicken for me. Fried chicken. As I, I rarely find myself craving burgers, but fried chicken, at least once a week, I'm like fried chicken. I want that crunch, crispy crunch. Um, LC Hudley 100 said, "How long does it take to do your makeup?" Probably about 10, 15 minutes, maybe. 15 minutes probably tops it's not a big deal I, I go light typically um Jenna Balsamello says do you have any goals you want to accomplish before the start of 2023 goals oh, short term goals let's see 
No, I really don't. I really don't have any goals. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Ooh. No, I don't think about it. I have like long-term goals that I, I focus on. Mm. But as, as far as things that I need to accomplish before the end of the year, to, to achieve my long-term goals, I just have to continue continue you know the pace the path you know so nothing serious I have to complete a uh, pyro cynical cock rider <laughs> says are you single yes yes I am I am single and I don't see that changing anytime soon I don't know I just don't like people I just don't like people it's just and it's it's not it's it's just me it's just me i have issues <laughs> <coughs> only one tawana says where do you shop for clothes um i shop from different places a uh, woman within the avenue uh Catherine's, Lane Bryant, mm. uh, and those are like styles for typically, I should say maybe, I don't, I don't know, they're not, they're not very, uh, what's the word, I mean every so often you'll get a, a piece of clothing from one of these places that's that's kind of hip or edgy or whatever. But uh, if I want to get stuff that's kind of more young, you know, Torrid, that's my favorite place. Um, same person says, uh, are you a religious person? No, not at all. Not at all. I mean, I have a, a particular belief system, but I'm not the type of person to like, do uh ritual behaviors i don't like you know even though i feel like i should you know like candles and and meditate and whatnot i just never do it no yeah, i'm lazy when it comes to that <laughs> um, no, 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 no. oh Sinem Sin Sinemskis <laughs> says my all-time favorite video from you is the cherry pie one is there any plans for another pie video always I'm always thinking about pie <laughs> always mm. and the same person asks how many times have you started Skyrim from the start you know what I couldn't even answer that it is so many times so many so many times because now on the PlayStation, I have like probably 10, 10 plus games that have been started, different names, whatever. And I played them to a certain point and then I'm like, new game, let's just do this over again. I don't like the way it's going or the game gets buggy, you know, some quests glitch out or bug out or whatever. Um, the one that I'm playing right now, you know, I'm, I'm going to knock on wood. I haven't had any bugged quests yet and I'm almost like level 50 mm -mm. no bugs please <laughs> but yeah and I played on my my PC and my MacBook and those started different games so guys probably probably like 50 plus at least mm -hmm. Dianaxolati, what troubles you the most right now? Is everything okay? Honestly, everything is fine. It really is. And it, it's not just the like meme 
where you see the little little doggy he's sitting in the chair and the flames are rising up and like it's fun everything's fun <laughs> it's not like that i mean seriously everything is just fun um any troubles troubling me mm. just trying to budget myself you know how much money do i spend on mukbangs how much money do i spend on personal stuff how much money do I spend on groceries? That's the thing. Um, budgeting. Yeah. I want to save money. And I have, I just, I impulsively spend like crazy. <laughs> and I, I just should not do that. <laughs> so that's the only trouble I have is like being responsible with my money. I mean, I make sure all my bills are paid, everything's paid. But then the remainder of the money. <sighs> it just flows away. <laughs> mm, there's another person asking about travel. Um, Jody Mark Marjix says, "What do you like to do in your spare time?" Well, I watch a lot of shows, either by myself or with my friend Susan. Um, I play video games from time to time. I listen to music a lot lately. I've been listening to a lot of music. That's been really nice. I just talked to Miss uh, A L E X I S over there. Or uh, O A I A, not I. I'm thinking of Alexis. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, Miss. Yeah, Miss Thing. Y'all know who I'm talking about. But uh, I just tell her to play music and she plays music and I'm like, yay, it's perfect. <laughs> um. Ani Tatcha says skincare routine, please. Honey, I don't have a skincare routine. I have, I have a rash right here, right now. It's like a red patch. It's like uh, eczema or whatever. Um, I try to use some moisturizers once in a while. Like after I get out of the shower, I basically just wash my face with the shampoo, whatever I'm using. And uh, I'll use a little moisturizer from time to time. Um, and then there's some other like things that I got in uh, like the boxy charm boxes. I'll put some of those on my face every now and then, but you know it's not any kind of routine though. Um, hating me won't make you pretty. Says, do you ever consider losing weight? Will you? I consider it all the time. I do. I really do. Um, that was partially why I invited Red to come stay with me, um, because I wanted to, like, not order food constantly through the week when I'm not filming, and it's actually helped. It's actually helped. I've dropped a few pounds, um, which is good, <laughs> which is good. Um, I've weighed twice since he's been here, and both times I've gone down, so... If I could just keep on this trajectory. <laughs> uh, Glory Bell 03 says, Will we ever meet Red? I don't know. I don't know. Now, he said he would pop in and say hi sometime, but I don't want to bother him with it. <laughs> uh. Mm 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 mm. Okay, I'm going through here. Okay. Random Pops and Movies 86 says, What's your favorite movie and what's your favorite hotel in Vegas? Ah, okay. Uh, my favorite movie, and I say this all the time, but I don't know if it's my favorite anymore. I mean, there's so many movies, and I, I, I love all movies. Um... I typically would say like Fight Club. I just I like the I like the whole vibe of it. It's gritty and violent. It's just it's kind of like internal me. <laughs> it's not not outward me, but it's like internal me. Gritty, violent. Punch punch somebody in the nose. That's like dream me. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um. You know, I was feeling down probably a month or so ago, and um, I was thinking, you know, 
what movie would make me feel good? Like really good. <laughs> and it was freaking Grease. It was Grease, you know. Danny Zuko and Sandy and, you know, Brizzo and, oh. Uh, and a hickey from Kaniki's like a Hallmark card. I just love the freaking Grease. I really did. So that might be my favorite. It really might. <laughs> um, Chantelle Lace. Oh, that's a cute name. Have you ever been to Australia? No. No, no, I have not. I would like to go though. There's places in Australia you'd like to go. Oh, uh, Random Pops in Movie 86. I forgot your other question. My favorite hotel in Vegas. I don't really have one. I haven't stayed in any hotels in Vegas. I was going to stay at uh, Mandalay Bay a while back because they have like a, a, a beach. And um, that's when the whole, you know, the, you know, uh, the, what do you call it, Bud Light thing, you know, started and people got locked down and whatnot. And uh, so my whole reservation, I paid for that reservation too. But I couldn't go, so stop. <laughs> mm. Yeah, 182 Lens says, Is black your natural hair color? I've always wondered. It's not. I mean, and, and this this is my natural hair color right here. Um, but it's like a really dark brown with like kind of auburn highlights here and there, or used to be. But now it's like salt and pepper highlights. <laughs> That's a salt and pepper. Uh, Tanya Jadi says, love your videos. What's your absolute favorite food? Your go-to food? Mm. I always say a rare ribeye. Always. Lately, I've been craving fried chicken more than anything. But my go-to food at home that doesn't require any like ordering out or big prep or whatever is a simple tomato sandwich just white bread a nice thick slathering of mayo a few slices of tomato like as fresh and ripe as possible and a, a generous amount of salt favorite sandwich favorite thing to just go to I think I've eaten tomato sandwiches probably three times, maybe two, two or three times in the last couple weeks. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Crab Bo says, on a scale of one to ten, how awesome do you consider yourself? I'm a ten, baby. In my brain, I'm a ten. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm me, you know. Of course I'm going to love me. Mm. Shenanigans2018 says, What made you decide to move to Vegas? Well, first of all, well, the first time I moved to Vegas, it was with my, my other ex at the time, Tommy. And um, we came out here to like, visit a friend literally one of his exes <laughs> and it was kind of a work uh collaboration type thing and we were here for a year and while we were here the apartment that we lived in before moving here in metairie louisiana um got flooded with four feet of water during katrina so I don't know, because, you know, we had family back there and unfinished business and whatnot. We moved back to Louisiana. Um, and we moved, decided to move back here because we liked it in 2011, the end of 2011. Yeah. It was, it was nice here. I just like the vibe, you know, the energy. It's like you just step out your door and yeah, it's hot. And yeah, the, the air is thick with heat. Not like in, in the south. In the south, you got that humidity. But here, it's like a... Hmm. 
Okay, still running. I'm over an hour already. <laughs> but yeah, the heat is just is crazy, but it's like hot, hot air being blown in your face, but you can feel the vibrations, the energy. So I like it. Mm. Mm. Lisa Rivera says, when you do get a kitty, what are you going to name him or her? Mm. I'm, uh, I'll be looking for a him cat, a he cat, and a black cat. But I haven't really considered a name yet. Hmm. Like, if y'all have ideas for Black Kitty, give them to me. Give them to me. <laughs> mm. na, 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 na. Oh, I'm trying to get through. Um, the hot diggity dog ass. Are you friends with Amberlynn Reed? I don't know her. I mean, I'll watch her videos from time to time, but, you know, I don't think we've ever spoken. And if we have, I don't remember. I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, no, not, not friends, but I like her. You know, I like everybody, though. Um, JB Lee 07 says, since the noodle moved up in one of your vids, has there been any other paranormal things happen around you? Um, honestly, if someone hadn't pointed it out, I'd have never noticed it. The the noodle situation. I'd have never noticed. So, I'm just oblivious. I, I put a wall up, you know, so things like that don't bother me. I just don't want to know. I don't want to know. You know, they, they, they just, they, they do their thing. I'll do my thing. <laughs> uh... Mm. Faith John 7277 says what is your favorite holiday season and season and why favorite holiday Halloween Halloween fall yep <laughs> MK Silver 101 says what inspired you to become an SSBBW model <clears throat> I wouldn't say it was so much an inspiration, but just <clears throat> Thomas, when I met him, he was a webmaster and photographer, so I just kind of fell into it. I just fell into it, but I enjoyed my time as a model. I did. <clears throat> hmm. Let's see. Fine Boy 33 asks, when you're not making videos, what brings you joy? <laughs> Skyrim. <laughs> that's like the funnest thing I do. I, yeah, that's uh, uh, X, Phantom, Mess, X. What's your favorite hobbies? Well, TV, movies, Skyrim, music. I do like to read a little bit here and there. And um, I like to write sometimes. I hope to paint one day. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Ah, <laughs> uh, no worries. Um, na, na, na. Mm. Oh, this is interesting. Um, Juan Acosta Garcia, fifteen X says hello I don't interact a lot but here are some questions multiples um, I know you are trying to lose weight why is that well obviously I want to be healthier at some point but um, y'all aren't seeing any of my efforts in videos because I need to keep the videos that go on to YouTube like fast food big food you know whatever uh, I noticed that when I was putting up low carb stuff, that I was getting way less views, way less interaction and whatnot. It just, I, you basically, I, I felt like I lost money, you know, attempting it in the public. So, mukbangs, great. Off camera, no binging off camera. Please don't do that, Candy. So that there's that. Anyway, health. <laughs> Um, 
Have you ever seen yourself as a feedie or gainer before deciding to lose weight? No, never, never. No, I played one on the internet from time to time to, you know, make money and get views, but no, that was never my thing. Mm, nothing against those folks, but just not me. Um, and here's the normal questions, they say. Are you into anime? If so, what are some of your favorite anime series? I do like anime. Probably more, um, I don't know, mainstream ones, I guess. Like Bleach and Inuyasha and um, Full Metal Alchemist, um, Death Note, those kinds of things. Um, ooh, this is interesting. If you could live in any fictitious world from either TV, anime, comics, books, or video games, where would you like to live and why? Ooh, that is a good question. Oh. Uh. Wow. You know, I used to say, uh, World of Warcraft. Yeah, that world, for some reason. I kept saying, like, like when I pass from this world, I'm going to enter that world and live there. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Ulga053 says, you mentioned being in a witchcraft group. Do you practice witchcraft yourself or do you just believe in the craft? I don't practice anything. But I do believe, you know, I, I believe that our intentions and and things that we put out, you know, come back to us. And also, like, when you focus on somebody, something, like, like doing a ritual or whatever, the energy that you put into that, you know, can bring things about and whatnot. You know, there's a lot to it. There's a lot more to it than that. But I'm I'm irreverent. I don't practice anything. I just don't practice anything. Mm, well, okay. I, I could misunderstood. <laughs> what's your favorite color? And what's the most horrible date you went on? Mm. Favorite color, red. Definitely red. And the most horrible date... You know, I don't, I'm, I don't do a lot of dating. I don't do a lot of dating. But I, if, if you would consider somebody picking me up, okay, driving away from the place they picked me up, and then, <laughs> and then groping me, like, like this, like, excuse you, you know? It's like, did, did we, did we talk about this? <laughs> You know, uh, yeah, no. I hate it when people are presumptuous. I really, really do. <clears throat> you know, and, and seriously, ask permission first. Thanks. <laughs> so that, that's pretty horrible. Natty Vavavoom asks, have you done a Tommy's McBong? No, but it's definitely on my list. Uh, their chili cheeseburgers look really delicious. I, I'm, I'm, I really want to try it at some point, but it's just I keep looking at it, and then I find something else that interests me more. So I just keep putting it on hold and putting it on hold. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Simply Velka says, "Are you excited for the new WoW expansion?" Or will you be playing Wrath when it's released on Classic Realms? Oh, I miss World of Warcraft. I really do. But sitting up for long periods of time, like I'm doing right now, <sighs> my legs start to go to sleep. They get numb. Because there's like a, a bar at the front of this chair, and because it's a little bit big for me, 
uh, like yeah, I should be in a petite chair, but this is a medium. So my legs are kind of going to sleep. I'm like cutting off circulation. <laughs> so I want to play the new WoW expansions and get back into WoW and stuff, but you know, until I can play WoW on the PlayStation, kick back in my chair, it's probably not going to happen. Which, you know, hopefully if I lose some more weight, you know, I'll, I'll you know, I'll be able to try. <laughs> um, NFTXO, what's your favorite dessert? Oh, it's 333 right now. <laughs> favorite dessert? Mmm. My favorite pie is a millionaire pie. It's kind of a tropical, delicious thing. I love that. That's my favorite pie. Favorite cake is the Tres Leches cake. Mmm. 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 Oh, we're getting close to the end. Oh, I'm tired too. And these questions are taking forever. <laughs> now I'm getting to the end. Mm -hmm. Alien Crossing, who's your celebrity crush? I have several. Uh, Jason Momoa, Henry Cavill, uh, Angelina Jolie, Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, and there's probably a half a dozen more. <laughs> At least. Ooh, Eva Green. Love her. Mm. Mm. Eliza up 5280 feet. How do you navigate dating as a plus size woman? Asking for me. You know, I don't really anymore. I used to go on like um, OK Cupid, and then there's uh, there's a few like plus size, you know, um, social media apps or whatever. Um, but the problem with those is is, and I have nothing against feeders, but it's it's pretty much all feeders, and you know, trying to date a feeder is dangerous for me. So I just stay away, stay away. <laughs> um. So yeah, if I ever got in the mood to try to date again, it would just be random, you know, nothing serious kind of stuff. I'd probably just go on OkCupid and hook up or whatever. But I don't, I don't even do that anymore, really. Um, it's Bell White says, "What music do you listen to in the shower?" Well, I don't listen to music in the shower, but if I was to, it would more than likely be classic rock. Um. Ooh, Angel Whisper 777 says, have you ever done a mukbang where you didn't like the food but had to pretend? Well, you know what? I did not have to pretend, but I did. Because I just wanted the video to be good for you guys. But uh, that Gordon Ramsay food... That fancy, fancy food, super freaking almost $200 for hardly nothing food. It was awful. It was awful. And if I had Gordon Ramsay standing right in front of me, I would have told him, you need to fire your chefs. I'm sorry. But uh, I felt like I was eating the dog's dinner. You know, thanks, but no thanks. But I was nice and I kept it light and I just grinned and bore it but it was really bad it was really bad and I was so disappointed because I was really looking forward to that beef wellington and it was not good and it was like my first time trying foie gras not good that crap was raw <laughs> anyway <clears throat> so yeah I pretended and I felt bad after because I was like, you know what? I should have dragged that restaurant. I really should have. I should have dragged it through the dirt so nobody else would go waste their money there. <laughs> so now y'all know. Okay. Mm, curly and girly 37. How Susan? She's doing fine. Hungry Hippie's doing fine too. They they just 
you know, one day at a time and just like me. That's that's all you can do. Um, and she's actually been texting me. We're probably going to watch stuff in a little while. Um, and travel Tandy B says someone on TikTok is impersonating me. They are, and they have been for a while. And I'm not even going to shout them out, but if y'all have seen this person posting lots of videos of me eating on TikTok, I didn't post that. I didn't post that. At the end of the video, you will see what my TikTok is, and it's a hungry fat chick. Uh, either an underscore or a, you know, at the end or whatever. <clears throat> and I hardly, I don't have anything on there. Nothing. I mean, I've got one video of some donuts. <laughs> That's it. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. That's it for the questions right now. Oh, I'm exhausted. This was a long video, and I don't have much to cut out, so it's definitely going to be a long one. Y'all asked for a long one. Y'all were like, why are your videos so short? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so, y'all got plenty to work with today. <laughs> But I love you guys very much. And if you made it all the way to the end, oh, give me a thumbs up and, and, and a like. Um, and yeah, <laughs> leave a comment too. You know, I love the comments. Good, bad, ugly, I don't care. <laughs> and just interacting with me always helps me. But uh, I love you guys very much. Thank you for spending time with me. And I will see you next time. Mmm, bye now. <laughs>